Hello, in this presentation we will enter adjusting entries related to prepaid insurance within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been following along with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. If not, that's okay. We will be doing adjusting entries related to insurance, discussing what they are, how to do them, and why to do them. If you have the backup to this point, you can restore that at the File tab and Restore. If we, we currently have the Open Windows list open, in order to open the Open Windows list, go to View, Open Windows List. The only open window is the home page at this time. That is at Company and Home Page. What we're going to do now are adjusting entries, those entries at the end of the time period in order to make the financial statements correct at that point. They are part of the normal process. They're not problems or errors that have been made by the accounting department. And in specific with relation to insurance, we often set up the insurance in such a way that we say when we write the check for the insurance, we're just going to say uh, write a check, credit the check, and debit prepaid insurance because by insurance's nature, we typically buy it for at least a month, but oftentimes more than a month in advance to us using the insurance. And therefore, if we just expense it at the point in time that we buy it, then it's going to distort our income statement pretty badly because we're going to have this huge expense at the point in time that we bought the insurance, even though it's really covering the other months. So when we, when we compare month to month, we end up with a problem. So let's take a look at that and let's take a look at how we can adjust that. So we're going to go to the reports up top. We're going to go to company and financial. Scroll down first to the balance sheet. And we're going to select then the date range, go into the customized reports. And we're going to select 01010122022821, January 1st, 2021 to February 28th, 2021. There is our balance sheet. We will be concentrating this time on this 11,000 there in prepaid insurance, double clicking on that. We see that we have the 11,000 here happened at the end of January that we paid for this. If we double click on that, we see that we actually wrote a check for this amount. The thing to note here is that we put this to prepaid insurance rather than insurance expense, which might be uh, what we would think that we would want to put it to is, is insurance expense. However, uh, if we did put it to an insurance expense, by the way, that's not a problem. We can do the basically the reversing of this adjusting entry in order to adjust for that but let's see why that might be a problem and under an accruals basis system why it's not really proper to uh, do that so we're going to close this out also note that as we do this i'm going to close this out the fact that we have an accrual thing checked off here and not cash does, does mean that quickbooks is uh, trying its best to record on an accrual basis rather than a cash basis however does not necessarily mean that we're all on an accrual basis. We do we do still need to make these adjustments in order to be really on an accrual basis in terms of reports that we want to process. And so let's look at some of these differences and why that might be the case. So if we go to reports up top, we go to company and financial, and we go to profit and loss standard, we can change the date range from 01, 01, uh, 212, 03, third, let's go, sorry, 02, 28 21 so january 1st 2021 to february 28th 2021 now you can imagine what would happen if we put that eleven thousand as an expense here it's currently on the books as an asset if we put it as an expense specifically in the month of january for eleven thousand dollars we would then show not income but a loss for that time period because of that eleven thousand dollars now, in, in one sense, it's true that we spent $11,000, but if we were to compare, say, January uh, and have that $11,000 expense to February, in which we didn't pay the $11,000, but for which the insurance is covering us for, it doesn't seem quite proper. We would like to use the matching principle to apply that out. We'd like to say, hey, February, we did just as good, all else equal, as we did in January, and we, had, we should be applying the same amount of insurance given the fact that uh, the insurance is covering both January and February. We shouldn't be measuring February's performance, in other words, based on the fact that they did better because we didn't buy the insurance in February and we bought it in January. We shouldn't be docking January's performance simply because that's when the insurance happened to be purchased 
but the insurance was purchased for six months. So what we need to do is allocate that in or order to uh, cover the time period that's being covered by the insurance. One system to do that, one good system of doing that, is to set up the insurance when we purchase it, not as an expense as we have here, but a prepaid account. So if we go back to the balance sheet, that in essence is what we have done here. So we're just going to set up the system. Whenever you write a check for insurance, it's not going to go to insurance expense. It's going to go to prepaid insurance. And then at the end of the time period, at the end of the month or the year, our adjusting department, ourselves, or an outside CPA firm can go in and make the adjustments necessary to be in a proper accrual basis. What would that adjustment be then? We'd have to say, okay, well, here's what we paid for the insurance. In this case, we're going to assume that that covered 12 months. So we paid 11,000 for 12 months. We paid for it at the end of, or the, at the end of uh, January or the beginning of February. And that means that one of those 12 months have now passed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take that 11,000 divided by 12 months and about $916.66. And we can round here. This doesn't need to be exact for these adjusting entries as long as uh, we, we want it to be something that's materially um, worthwhile for us to do. So we're going to say it's going to be uh, 900, let's just say 917 will be the amount rounding to the dollar that we will make the adjustment for. And the adjustment is going to be recording the expense related to that one month and decreasing the prepaid insurance, meaning the asset's going to go down. We no longer have uh, this insurance that we're going to consume in the future without having to pay for more of it. And we're going to recognize the fact that we consumed the use of the insurance by being covered over the prior month. Typically, the way to do this would be to go to company and make uh, journal entries. And if we knew debits and credits, we would debit uh, insurance expense and credit prepaid insurance for that 917. But we're going to do this with registers so that we can not use the journal entries and try to try to use the journal entries as few as possible and just use a register to do basically the same thing. So we're going to go to the banking here and we're going to go to use register and we're going to look for that prepaid insurance. So we'll select the drop down. We're going to go to uh, prepaid insurance and OK. And we're going to make our adjusting entry as of the end of the month, as of 022821. And we're going to say that this account is going to go down. So it's going to be a decrease of 917 and then all we have to do is choose the other account which in our case is going to be insurance expense we could select the drop down and find it or we can just type in insurance expense there it is there's the expense account tab and what quickbooks basically is saying is saying okay we want to decrease this account that we are in the prepaid insurance and then we're going to do the opposite to the insurance expense which quickbooks can just know that that's the debit or the credit uh, and do the other to the other and so that's what's happening here so in essence this is a journal entry it's going to be decreasing the asset account which is a credit and it's going to be debiting the insurance expense account will be the other side and if we just look at the increase and decrease and use some trial and error we can we can see that it's going the right way so we're going to say okay and then go back to our balance sheet and see if it does what we want it to do what do we want it to do we want that eleven thousand to go down to this number so let's see that we'll go to the balance sheet here is prepaid insurance and in essence that's what should be left there is 11 months worth of insurance right so we said it was it was 916 about for each month if we multiply that times 11 the number of months we have left we have about uh, 10,083 left that uh, we will be consuming over the next um, 11 months so then we're going to go down to the profit and loss and see if, if it does what we expect it to do here. That is the prepaid insurance is recorded. Here's the insurance expense. If we double click on that uh, insurance expense, we'll see that there are a couple items in there that are, are, were posted to the wrong area in a prior presentation. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to correct that in a format that uh, by, by adjusting them here. So I'll show you how to do that, and I'm also going to tell you that uh, you know we, QuickBooks allows us to make these types of adjustments, adjust these entries. Some software will not. We would have to make an, a journal entry to do this. So let me show you what the error is, and uh, and then we'll go ahead and fix that. So if we double-click on these, there's two of them. 
uh, this account went to insurance expense and it should be going to interest expense so typing that in too quickly it should be insurance uh, interest expense so I'm just gonna change that account and then say save and close and there's the item now so if we do that to the two items that are in there then uh, what we have done is move the expense account those two items should have been an expense but uh, interest expense and then the insurance expense here if we double click on that item will now solely be this uh, 917 the one month worth of insurance expense and that's going to be the other side of the item it's going to be decreasing our net income so note that these adjusting entries have put us into a loss down here